What's going on everyone? Welcome to Box Attack. I'm Dom and behind me you see we have uh, some of the exclusives here that debuted at the Entertainment Earth booth here at San Diego Comic-Con 2019. And we're going to take a look at these as well as the Entertainment Earth exclusives for Funko. I actually did a haul video on every single pop from the Funko booth at San Diego Comic-Con. So if you want to check that video, the link is below. But let's go ahead and check out uh, all these cool pops. All right, so first up, we have Bullseye right here. So as you can see here, we have three different stickers on this Bullseye. We have the Flocked sticker because this is the Flocked Bullseye ad icon. We do have the Only at Target sticker. And then we have the Comic-Con debut sticker right here. And that's because, like I said, these Target exclusives debuted first here at San Diego Comic-Con at the Entertainment Earth booth. So um, let's go ahead and just get him open, see what this thing is all about. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like here up close. I'm personally excited about the bullseye uh, pop here, the flock bullseye. Funny enough, the second flock bullseye we've seen this year, just uh, from a different line, obviously. So, we have flock bullseye here in my hand, and he's pretty cool. He's got uh, he's got a gold collar, as you can see right here, and just fuzzy like a dog should be. Obviously, I mean, it, it's it's kind of what it's all about, you know, being a flock pop and all, but. He is pretty nice, and he's gonna join his brother, the uh, regular Bullseye from Target, as soon as I get home here from San Diego Comic-Con. All right, so next up, we have Jim Henson with Ernie. Look at Funko with the deep cuts here, <laughs> with the pops from my childhood, basically. Jim Henson with Ernie. Again, you can see the same thing here. We got the debut sticker and the Target sticker. Let's go ahead and get uh, Henson out of the box here. We can take a look at him in all of his puppet glory well or ernie's the puppet i guess but you can see here yeah we have jim henson with ernie and he's just uh he's holding ernie like a like a little little puppet i don't know i i, I love ernie and bert childhood favorite for sure and uh yeah his debut pop came out here entertainment earth first I didn't say it before, but all these pops will be available at Target as well. They just won't have that debut sticker on them. You'll get the normal Target sticker, which I'll show you in a little bit. And by the way, if you haven't been to, to San Diego Comic-Con before, it is an absolute madhouse here. There's just a sea of people in every direction. It's pretty intense here. But next up, we have the metallic set, the Jolly Green Giant and sprout or green giant as it says and sprout and these are metallic same kind of sticker combination as we've seen here will also be available at target but premiered here first at the entertainment earth booth so let's get this box open here we can pull out green giant and sprout i have the commons of these as well i don't know if any of you pick them up let me know in the comments section below but here we have our two pops. And so these ones, there's a lot of people giving them kind of a hard time about it not being like as metallic as some other metallic pops. Up close in person, they do look a lot better than the glam shots would lead you to believe. They have a lot more of a metallic sheen to them. Um, some parts it's almost more of a glossy sheen, um, like on the hair and stuff like that. But you can definitely see the metallic paint work happening here again don't base your thoughts off the glams because once you see it in person you'll know what i'm talking about um, but yeah i think these two are pretty cool they're pretty cute pops i'm personally not the biggest fan of two packs just because they mess up my whole like shway of my setup and things like that but I, I mean not a bad deal at all maybe i'll just switch these and put these in the common boxes so i can have them like stacked on top of each other uh, let me know what you think about this metallic set though in the comments. All right, next up we got this big boy. This is the 10 inch Charmander. He is just huge. This is a Pokemon in case you didn't know. Uh, not too long ago they released the common version, the smaller version. And here, well, there's a party going on over there. Here we have the 10 inch version and we have the sticker right here that you can see, which is only the target sticker. Now, these pops, if you get them at Entertainment Earth here during Comic-Con, they will come with that debut sticker that I showed you before, but just for, you know, showing you and stuff like this, we just have the regular Target sticker here. It's a big pop here, got Charmander. Uh, I'm not going to take him out of the box because that just seems like a big, big hassle in my opinion right now, but you can see that, yeah, I mean, this will also be available at Target. 
I think the Charmander's awesome. Uh, he, he's kind of cute, but these 10-inch pops, man, they are taking over my life. Next up, we have the 10-inch color Mickey. And again, uh, this is how it'll look when you buy it from Target, but there is a debut sticker that usually goes on here. I love me some Mickey Pops, like love, love, love. So I'm, I picked this one up personally, and um, I'm just happy to put them with, I have the black and white version from Target and the blue and green version from Funko Shop. Ah, the 10 inch Mickey, he is just big. Now obviously it's the same mold pretty much as, uh, as the black and white one. This one's just color. The, the, the one from Funko Shop has a little bit of a different hand thing going on, but you can see here, I'll just show you the sides because I don't want to remove him from the box. And there you go. We got the 10 inch Mickey, but that's not where the exclusives end. Let me tell you, there are a ton more. All right, so this whole table right here is filled with exclusives from Entertainment Earth that uh, we either have debuting, like these Target Pops, for example, here at the booth during the con, or just stuff that they launched for themselves here at San Diego Comic-Con. And uh, we're gonna take a look at all these. As you can see, it's just, a, there's a ton of stuff here to check out. I'm not gonna show you everything, but some of my favorite ones. All right, so we do have the Marvel Legends series here. This is Avengers Infinity War. We have the Iron Man Mark 50 and the Iron Spider figure. I mean, these ones are just, these are so awesome. And right above that, we do have Wolverine and the Hulk as well. But we have some more pops move on here. If you haven't seen this, this is the Kiss the Girl movie moment from The Little Mermaid. You can see we have a little cute fish flounder there. Everybody just spitting up water as they're getting ready to kiss on the boat and a little bit hard to see inside of the box here, but again, kind of a, a hard thing to get them out of here. We do have Washington crossing the Delaware as well. This is a part of the American History line. Target exclusive debuting here first at Entertainment Earth booth, along with this one right here, Rick and Charlotte Flair. And you can see here that we have uh, the gold variants which are pretty nice. Like, I'm not a big wrestling collector, but I still think that one is awesome. So we do have these three that I showed you already and those two as well. But down here, we have some of the Comic-Con exclusives that are at the Funko booth and shared with Entertainment Earth's website. So you've already seen my haul from the Funko booth where I showed you the uh, Man-Thing pop and we have the Jaws pop right here, the bloody Jaws pop. This thing is huge. I, I definitely recommend this, even if you're not a Jaws fan, because it is just a very cool looking pop all around. A couple of other notable things here. We do have the uh, Macho Man Randy Savage. This is a figure here that looks pretty cool. You can see he's holding the Slim Jims. You know, I, if you're old enough to remember uh, this whole era of commercials, definitely leave a thumbs up. But right here we do have the Fonz Lunchbox. Now you might be wondering, why is this, what is this? the deal with this? This was actually in Captain Marvel. So if you've seen Captain Marvel, you know about this lunchbox. They stuck the Tesseract in it, and I just, I mean, I'm just kind of drooling over this thing all around. Now, one thing that's cool here, you probably didn't know this yet, but Entertainment Earth has launched their own pop protectors. So these are hard protectors, as you can see right here, and we have the, the kind of the box and everything. Uh, so they have their own version of a stack, basically, which I think is pretty cool. Let's hope that they stay closed better than traditional Funko stacks though, right? We do have this uh, pretty cool Kenner Darth Vader prototype edition. It's a special edition. I, I do air quotes over prototype because they obviously made it to look like a prototype. The packaging is super cool though. It's kind of uh, got like a holographic look all around to it. Pretty awesome stuff. We do have some pins here as well. The bullseye pin, I picked up one of these actually. So this guy is pretty cool. And then we do have some Entertainment Earth pins right here also. Now you know I love me some Batman and this 14 inch Batman figure is just, it is super cool. He's got a fabric suit on, kind of got an old school figure vibe to it, which you don't see a lot of times now. There are 14 points of articulation on this figure, which I know is not a lot, but again, they're going for that old school look and feel here. Now, I'm not 100% sure which one of these pops is my favorite. I might have to lean towards either Flocked Bullseye or Mickey, but it, it's kind of up in the air for me. I wanna know though what you think about these pops and all the exclusives being released here at Comic-Con. Let me know in the comments section below. This booth is huge. We are upstairs above the sea of people that I talked about earlier. 
I got my hands on all these right here. So let me know if you want to see a full review or in-depth review on any of these that are on the table right here in the comments section below. Leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're new around here, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the future. Also, if you haven't joined yet, be sure to click the link below and join the Box Attack Army so you can get cool swag sent to you every month out of my personal collection. That's Pops, I'm not just talking about some random stuff. So go ahead and check that link below like these lovely people that you see on the screen right here. And uh, let me know what you think about all these exclusives here at the Entertainment Earth booth. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Once again, this has been Box Attack. I'm Dom and we'll catch you later.